Hi guys, in this lecture I want to explain what is gzip compression, why is it so effective for your SEO and how you can do it for your website. So let's start from the beginning. What is gzip? gzip is basically a compression method compressing files from large files into smaller ones. When you're enabling gzip on your server, your server is basically serving compressed files to your users. The effect of it is that your page loads faster, faster than before. And as we know, Google loves faster websites and also users. So how do I know that Google themselves are really pushing you to use gzip on your website? So I want to show you this source in Google Developers that Google are actually telling us text compressed with gzip and they teach us how gzip can be effective for our website and how well it can compress the files on our website in order to serve compressed files to our users. So now we know what gzip is and we know it is very effective for SEO, but how can you do it for your website? So the thing about gzip is that enabling it is very, very easy. This is why it is very effective for the time it takes. If you're using WordPress, so we have few WordPress plugins, of course, I'm sure there are many other plugins and extensions for other CMSs, but the best way to enable gzip on your website is through your hosting. If you're using HostGator as your hosting for your website like me, the only thing you have to do is go to software and services, click optimize website, and enabling gzip with choosing compress all content. If you're using another hosting for your website, all you have to do is just search in your hosting help center how can you enable gzip on their hosting. Usually it's just one click and that's it. Almost all hosting services has this option. All you have to do is choose it. After enabling the gzip option, you need to check and make sure that gzip is really enabled. So just in case, I want to show you two different websites that you can check if gzip is really enabled on your website. The first one is checkgzipcompression.com. Let's type my domain here and check it. You're blessed, it's gzip enabled. So now I know I saved 78.8% by compressing my website with gzip. The second website I want to show you in order to make sure that your website is really gzip enabled is this website, whatsmyip.org slash http dash compression dash test. Let's do the same test and make sure my website is really gzip enabled. kindlyconvert.com slash blog is compressed. Again, I save 78.4%. So now we know what gzip compression is and how effective it is for SEO. And now you know how to make sure your website is gzip enabled in order to serve both users and search engines a compressed version of your website. I love gzip enabling because this is very effective for SEO and it literally takes just one minute. So make sure your website is gzip enabled and after you do it, you can go on into the next lecture.